Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the four forces problem A that is morning. So we are given a four digit pin code consisting of digit 0 to 9. This needs to be entered. Initially, the cursor points to the digit 1, and in one second, you can perform exactly one of the following two actions like press the cursor to display the current digit or move the cursor to any adjacent digit. Okay. So let's suppose this is the example. So the image shows the device you are using. We entered the pin code. For example, for the digit five, the adjacent digits are four and six, and for the digit zero, there is only one adjacent digit that is nine. So like you need to keep focus on this. The last portion, the zero digit, but it is adjacent to only nine. That is the case. So let's see some example. For understanding, like first example, we have one, one, one. Okay, so in this example, we need to like first point it is cursor at is at one. So, like in this, we can press this and we need to press also one. So, we can again press, press, press. So, answer will be. Four here. Okay. Let's see some better case. One, two, three, six. This is some better example. Like initially, cursor is at one, so we can at the first second we can press this. Then we need to jump to this position. That will take one second, and then we need to press it. So total will be two seconds. One plus two. Then again, we need to jump for one second and then we need to press for one second. That means two seconds total. Here, what we need to do? Three, we are cut at three, then we will move back four, then five, and six. That means three seconds. And one second for pressing, that means total will be four. Okay, so answer will be here nine. That is our answer. Hope you understand this. So, so what can be our approach? So we need one second for pressing. So we can define one variable that is previous, basically. Okay. And suppose that previous is pointed at one. Okay. And now we need to iterate through one. I equal to 0 to I equal to 4. Basically, less than less than 4. So we need one current variable that is current variable and we will store the value of let's like suppose S is the input. So we can do S is the string basically. We can do S of I minus the string. Okay. So we will get the current and what we need to do, we need to do just like for answer, answer will be answer plus equal to absolute of current minus previous. And after that, you need to update your previous value with the current value. Okay. So, previous will be updated with current. So, like here, there is a one catch. And what is that catch? When we encountered with value 0. So, if the value 0, like we can't take, like we can directly, we can't go to 1 directly. Or like we are at 2. We can direct. We can't go directly to zero. So it is two, not two steps. It will be like we will go two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, then zero. That is the case. That is the tricky case here. So like, if here, if this current equal to zero, then what you can do? You can write current equal to ten. Okay, so that is the requirement. Basically, 
you can take 0 as 10 and that will give your answer. Hope you understand this solution and I'll share the code with you. Okay, so let's go to the code. Okay, so you can find it here. Yeah. So what you need to do, just take the input first, declare the previous value as 1, current and answer as 0 and just get it through the, this, i equal to 0 to 4, then take the current value and compare if current is 0, update it with as 10 and calculate the answer like this, absolute of current minus previous plus 1, y plus 1 for pressing 1 second and then update the previous with the current value and print the answer. Hope you understand the solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you.